Guys, here's why you need to take immediate action when you're right there in the moment. Now, Jason Carterman here guys, we're on this day six of this huge blitz of everything I can pour at you. And this was inspired by someone who had, they were creating this whole plan around their nutrition and other things and they're like, and next week I'm gonna be all set. And while I highly encourage you to create plans and action plans and maps and all these other things, what you need more than anything is to take action quickly. And what's super crazy is I just took such quick action on this very video. I just shot this whole video with no audio, literally the whole video. And I, I got done and I turned off my lights here and I was walking over and I was like, oh crap, I forgot to turn on the audio. So I'm just, I'm literally redoing everything I just talked about. I'm gonna do it in about half the time if all goes well here. And so, it's an example. I was so pumped up to take massive action to shoot this video, to get this content right to you immediately fast, so it goes right in and you take massive action on it right now, that I forgot to turn on the damn audio and I've done this thousands of times. I've created way over a thousand videos and I almost never forget to turn off the audio. So, here's, here's how you do this. It's in the moment when you're inspired, you take immediate action. And I'm gonna actually give you guys a, the, the environment to do this right now. And as I'm explaining this, you can do this actually right here with me right now because we are about taking action. We, together, this whole experience is about taking action and it's something you have to wire into your nervous system. If you don't have the ability to take massive action when you're inspired in the moment, and literally like just go do it right this second, you delay, you give things a chance to like sneak in and be like, hey, maybe it's gonna be like the other thing that didn't work before. Hey dude, you know like the, the angel and the devil on the shoulder and all this kind of stuff. So as you're thinking of this, I'm gonna give you a chance right now. What is something around your health and you know, the big three? Health and nutrition, your finance, your career, your relationships, your, your spirituality, go, what is something you know you need to take action on, whatever those areas are, right now, and I want you to literally take some form of action towards that. So whether that's like b calling the gym, like literally right now, pushing pause on the video, and going and calling the gym to schedule with the trainer that you're, you know you're gonna connect with. Maybe it's right now going to Google and literally finding out the gym you're gonna go to. Maybe it's sending that text message to your boss, to your spouse, whatever it is, literally sending the damn message right now while you're listening to this or even push pause in this video, go send the message and come right back. And actually, you will miss things if you don't come back, but dude, what's way more important is you go take massive action. So what's happening is you're wiring your entire nervous system all throughout your body. You're also wiring your neurological, your neural pathways to when you're inspired in the moment to take action. And what's happening in those moments, guys, that is God, it's your soul, it's the universe, it's everything conspiring, it's nature, and whatever your belief system, those are all of the same things. You know what that feels like inside when your heart's telling you something, and you know it's time, and maybe you call it something else, maybe you don't call it your heart. Maybe you call it prayer or anything or meditation, it, none of that, set all that stuff aside, all that language, none of that matters. You know the feeling I'm talking about or the experience that I'm talking about, because we've all had it, especially when you're a little kid, you're really damn good at having it, and as you became an adult, you got a few things happening and you began to shut off that thing over time. So what I'm encouraging you to do is to reopen. Those pathways are still there. Your nervous system knows exactly how to do it. And I watch my kids every single day immediately take action. Like we talk about Disney World, they're like, dude, let's go right now. They're like, let's just, dad, are we getting in the car? Are we like flying right now? Or we're just going to some random restaurant and literally they'll be like, Dude, we should just drive to the airport and go to Disney World. That's like their, their like new addiction since we finally went there like a year and a half ago. And that's an example because they don't, they haven't been untrained that, oh, you shouldn't always do this. Shame on you the, and all these experiences we've had throughout our life. So what you do is recondition that right back in your nervous system by taking action, massive action right now. So a great example, you guys are seeing this online in some kind of format and 
It's so amazing whether you're on your phone as you're watching me right now or you're on, I'm on a computer screen or as you're hearing me in the background and as you're thinking of some of those feelings as I've been bringing those up and those different experiences throughout the world and your different situations, how all of those can impact you literally through like some kind of technology that we're relating together. And I, I'm so grateful for that, I'm so appreciative of that. And here's how you can take action on everything right now. Now you've seen some kind of online presentation where like, whether it was a live webinar you're on, on a sales page, a VSL video sales or whatever it is, where you need to like enter your email address and, and, and name and, and push the button. Or, or it's like, hey dude, here's everything, here's how it's gonna help you, here's all the benefits, here's every, everybody else we've helped, all this other stuff, go click the button and buy right now. Now, what happens, the people who really, really move fast world, they literally go and click that button and they just do it. And they don't second guess it. And later on, they worry about stuff like, dude, this is, this is not like, let's say it's like a bait and switch. Uh, so those of you new to the sales world, bait and switch is where you're told one thing and you get in and it's something totally different. And now you need to like follow up with a refund. Great, go take action on getting the refund then after you've already done that, but don't overanalyze everything because what happens is you slow yourself down. When the universe, when you're hearing those voices and you know it deep within you and you know it's the right move to do right then, you have to take action on it immediately because every second you wait and every minute and every hour and as every moment passes and you're getting further away from the state you were in, see a state guys, it's just an emotion and it's caused by your thoughts, your physiology, it's caused by these things and as you're looking, you're literally, guys, you cause your own emotions. We're gonna talk about this in a different video. And so, your emotions that are there in that very moment, which are, they're all in alignment with everything and they're saying, dude, let's do this. What happens is, I wanna sleep on it. You wake up the next morning and it could be like me, a month, two months ago, all of a sudden in the middle of the night we're at the ER with our oldest son. That wasn't planned and even though that was like an emergency, stuff like that really happens, all kinds of things can happen the next day. Some weird text message, something in your life, or just your normal life can happen. Here's the difference. You wake up that morning, you literally aren't gonna remember everything because it's your language, it's your physiology, and it's what you're focused on, it's what you're thinking about. That creates your emotion. So the emotion you had in that moment you can't have the same emotion unless you are a master at recreating it and I literally will teach you this in the coming videos. So, you're not gonna have, like for example, physiology. Let's say you're watching a webinar like the example we gave. You may have been sitting down and you're watching it and you wake up in the morning, you're laying down in a bed or all of a sudden you're in your kitchen making breakfast and you're standing up, you're not even in the same posture of when you made the, the same thing. Maybe you were like had super good posture and you were like there and like doing your thing that night watching the webinar and you're ready and you're confident. You're like, dude, I feel it. I know it. This is it. And then the next morning you're like, holy crap, I slept really messed up and my neck is all jacked up. I got to go see my chiropractor. And you're walking around like all day long and your entire nervous system, all of your physiology literally can't even be the same because you're all out of whack the next day. And that's only 12 hours. Imagine what happens next week. Minana, minana, minana. Guess what happens next month? The further you get, the worse you are, your ability to be able to recall something. And that, what happens guys, this is like, these patterns happen all the time. People go, they go on about their lives, weeks, months, sometimes years, sometimes decades pass, and they're looking back and they're like, damn, I wish I would've taken action on that one thing. And you've probably seen this on a million different sayings and quotes and people who have like literally been in their deathbed like experiencing things like this that are, so you've, you either know someone who've died and shared this with you or you've heard about this or heard of someone and having this type of experience where they're on their deathbed, they're looking back, they're not worried about what they did do and anything like that, they're not worried about the money, none of that crap. What they're worried about, they, the regrets about the things they didn't do, the actions they didn't take, the things they never took action on, they wish they would have, and of course, yeah, hindsight's 2020. you know, the famous saying, that, that just means 
of course you know better because you're like this 80, 90, 100 year old person, you could, if you could go back and give your, yourself advice when you're like 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, five years old, whatever it was, of course you're gonna have like a genius life because you can like be your best own coach. But what's amazing is you can live through that experience of others and one of those big, that regret, it's that it's one of the most common thing, I've studied tons and tons and tons of people on their dying deathbeds for, of all ages, from kids to like elderly people, from mega successful people you know, from people you never heard of, from people I've personally been around. And the biggest commonality is looking back like, I wish I would have done that thing. Now, all those are those moments where you're, you're like, hey dude, go click the button, you know, like here's all the things and all this and you're all in the moment and you're ready and you go to click the button and whatever happens, it, you just kind of like slow down. What's happened is that over time you've conditioned yourself to not be like my kids who are like, dude, let's just go to Disney World right now. You've conditioned yourself to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. And the little guy, little gal, little devil, whatever on your shoulder, like little voice in your head that all of the, the chatter, the mind monkeys, they all start to come and they all start to chip away at your dream here. And they're like, dude, remember the time this didn't really work? Hey, remember that time when your family like laughed at you? And as these experiences are coming up, you're literally putting yourself back what that felt like. You're putting yourself back, what did that look like when that person just laughing at you and you can still see their face and you can literally hear some of the exact words. I have moments like that all throughout my life that I can literally step back into and it feels as if I'm there, whether it's good or bad. I can do that with all good and bad, with a lot of good and bad moments. And so that's what starts to happen and all those things and, and you're typically bringing up things that were not good. You're, you forgot about, dude, remember when I took that risk and I asked the guy out, I asked the girl out and they said yes and all of a sudden like this happened and opened up and all this stuff. I remember the very first, so this is like just crazy. I don't know if this story is even relevant but I'll make it relevant somehow here. It is, it's, it's perfectly relevant because it's all about taking action right now. So. I never kissed a girl till I was 19 years old. Super shy, I know that you guys all, the people that, if you've only known me for the last decade or so, you don't know nothing about how I grew up. I was like literally a turtle in a shell. So I didn't kiss a girl till I was 19 years old. So I rewind back to when I'm like 18 years old and I'm saying goodnight to this girl and she literally leans in to like kiss and I'm like, I, I, I don't remember what I did but I like turned and backed away because I like, I just freaked out. I didn't know to like just take, just go for it. Like if I screw it up, sweet, we'll both laugh at it or at least I will or whatever. I was so afraid of whatever my belief system had been like, what about the time when this thing didn't work in the sock film? What about the time when my, my, my parents were judging some other kid that like kissed somebody and they're like, oh, you can't kiss people when you're 15 or whatever, whatever it happened, all these stories are happening and all those were like, Dude, and, and I like freaked out because I didn't take action in the moment. And that stuff happens all, I totally regret that. Not because like, oh, we could have got married. and I, I, no, It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with my self-esteem, my confidence. And like that moment, I can still, I haven't thought about that literally in years now and it just came up here out of nowhere. That's one of those moments I look back and I'm like, dude, I do regret that. Be, but I also forgive myself because I also understand I was doing the best I could with everything I had in that moment. Here's what you have to do. You need to take action right now and I encourage you, if you haven't done this already, write a one word response or a whole sentence below this video. Personally reply to me if you want to keep it private. Whatever you want to do, if you got this by email, reply to this email. Let me know something, at least one thing you're going to take action on like right now and Here's the really cool thing. Notice how I said you're gonna take action on right now. What's even more beautiful, if you're one of those people, you've already taken the action, what, like when I told you like 10 minutes ago, you've already taken that action, I want you to tell me that or declare it to the world below or whatever. And all of those things are amplifying this behavior because the more you condition in to take action now, to take action now. Guys, this is how high level, successful, high level entrepreneurs, this is how, 
Do you guys think Obama or anybody at any, I forget about, I don't care what you think about him as a president or anything, it has nothing to do with that. Anybody in a high place of power that has some, um, some level of success in their life, oh, but he's ruined it. Dude, stuff was ruined decades ago. You, you need to learn what's really happening if you think one president ruined things. Forget about all that, none of that stuff matters. Pick Mother Teresa if you don't like Obama. I don't care who you pick. Bill Gates, pick Elon Musk, pick Gary Vaynerchuk. Very, very Gaynerchuk. I don't know if you heard of that guy, but he's amazing. The wine library, line, <laughs> the wine library guy, Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm actually trying to slaughter his name on purpose, and now my other words are like mixing all up backwards and forwards. It's hilarious. So, Grant Cardone, whoever it is, go pick somebody who has some level of success, some measure of success. And they are freaking wired right then to take action. And here's a really good example of this. And by the way, now here went another opportunity because a few minutes ago you could have already taken action on this. I'm, make, I'm giving you another call to action. One word reply, one sentence. I don't care if you write several paragraphs and you just had the biggest breakthrough in life because you just realized something, whether it's from me talking about the story of the kissing girl, me jacking up va ga Gavi Gaynor Chuck or Jay, blah, all that stuff. Whenever I screwed all that up and you're laughing and you had some epiphany, good, write the whole thing and go change your life and go do it right now. And even more important, dude, you don't want to reply at all, awesome, go change your freaking life. I don't get, I'm not doing this until I get you to reply and like me get all this social proof or whatever. Go change, I'm here for you to change your freaking life. Because then your world becomes better and everybody around you can becomes better. Whether or not I ever hear from you or ever even know anything you ever do for the rest of your life, that's the whole, that's why I do everything I do. So go take that action right now. I don't care if you pause the video, send the text message, make the call, do the thing. Dude, go create the freaking empire and come back in a month and say, check this out. I just made a million dollars, dude, in one month. Go, whatever it is, go kick ass at it right now. And here's the coolest thing. If that, so I just gave this like huge example. If if whatever it is is like overwhelming, chunk it down to something that's so stinking easy. At least go book it in your damn calendar. And if that's what you did, congratulations and freaking put that as what you did. Dude, I just booked this thing in my calendar. I'm calling at 7.05 tonight or 7.05 a.m. or whatever it is, whenever they open, whatever the deal is, and I'm gonna make such and such happen. Whatever it is, the call, the text, whatever it is. and. I'm gonna end with this story. This just happened in the past week or two. I don't even know. In the past month. So one of my good friends, nine-figure earner, he is being mentored and, and is in a circle of a billionaire. And the billionaire was coaching this person. And the billionaire was bit, like they were laying out like, okay, what are you trying? The billionaire's like, okay, dude, what are you trying to do? And he's like, okay, explain this, this, this. Here's where we're going and painting the whole picture. He's like, and the billionaire's like, great, pick up your phone right now, call this person. And he's like, well, what about this planet? Pick up your damn phone right now and call this person. So he did that and he put it down. He's all, great, call the next guy, call the next guy. And they, they were like lit the whole time, they were taking action. It was all about taking action. Once they, and there was a bunch of other biz stuff to discuss. It wasn't just taking action. It was a huge percentage of just taking massive action. And he shared the story about the whole day with this billionaire. And I was like, dude, that is different level thinking from what anybody does. Even most like coaches nowadays, I'm a certified life coach. I'm a certified business coach. And what you're taught in coaching is like create these plans and then you hold people accountable and you do want people to take action, but it's nowhere nearly like ingraining in their whole nervous system that, that memory of what it's like to just freaking take out. Have you ever just been like, watch a kid walking down the street and they're just like, woohoo! Just for no freaking reason. I do that shit all the time just to do it. <laughs> and because I'm always messing with my nervous system, my neural pathways, I'm like doing it to wire it in. And so I, I actually, I'll give you guys an example of how powerful when you start to, and it, guys, it doesn't take forever. If you would have seen me even just two or three years ago, I was not even, I used to overthink stuff all the time, especially 10 or 20 years ago. 
but I still would take crazy action, dive in with both feet at times. I just didn't do it more often than not like now. So I'm gonna give you an example. As you're filling out, you're replying this, you've already taken your call to action. This just happened last week. I'm belt testing for my gold belt in karate. That's my third belt. It goes white, yellow, gold in the system I'm in. And, and I'm actually in a couple systems, so we, we're doing like jujitsu, ba, or ba, not bagua, kickboxing, we're doing kempa, American kempa, and like a couple other, it's, it's, it's a kick ass, like it's totally awesome. So anyway, the belt system, white, yellow, gold. I'm a yellow belt with my children, testing for gold at the test, working our booties off, just like dying dead tired. And the higher belt that was with us, that was, I think it was an orange belt, which is the one above gold. So gold, orange, gold, orange. So there's an orange belt. Oh, and we were still yellow. So there are two belts ahead of me. And so they went out and get, did this thing called Gekasai Daich, and it's basically, it's, called, it's this form where they go and they do all this stuff, like present it to our instructor and everybody else in the room, and they do it like, judges, with your, per <laughs> I already screwed mine up, judges representing America's best martial arts, my name is Jason Carter, and with your permission, I will present, so it's this whole formal presentation, then, that's just like the thing, thank you judges, then you get in the state and you freaking do this thing. And you're going through this whole, like, and, and you have to put certain technique into it. And anyway, that's, that's what I did. But I didn't know I was going to do that because I'm, I'm just a gold belt, right? So the higher belt went by themselves. And I was like, oh, I thought like our whole class might go or something. I didn't know it was going to happen. And so the higher belt went and that was it. And then the instructor, Kyoshi, was like, Okay, does anybody else want to want to um, demonstrate Gekasai Daich? And literally, guys, I'm not exaggerating. You could ask my wife if whoever's connected on Facebook. I mean, it doesn't matter. She's not going to reply to you anyway. She doesn't even like to reply to anybody. So, this is what happened. My children have already verified this. My wife verified this, and I shared like what was happening there. All we literally watched that happen. So. He asked, does anybody else want to get, d demonstrate Gekasai Daich? And literally, guys, my, I was like this, and I was already taking a step out. And then my conscious mind, that was all unconscious thought, like just like driving a car. You just push the pedal, you just go down the street, just make it happen. So literally, I've done this so much where I always put my, and this was not comfortable in any way. You guys saw I just screwed up the introduction just to you guys, and there's no pressure. Well, there's pressure of thousands of people watching this, but I don't see thousands of people, I see a little camera eye. And I actually do see you guys all the time and I feel and I'm connected with you even through this amazing digital technology. But what happened that day was the physical being there in the room, all the tenseness of the test, all this stuff, all that like the, it, it was awesome. But my, my nervous system like threw my hand up and it took a step out and my conscious mind's like, what the hell just happened? I was like, holy shit, I better keep going. He's like, Jason, all right, Jason. And, and then I took like another step and I'm like, I'm, I'm waiting for my kids to come out. Cause there was a test like three or four months ago. I saw some other people that were like all the same belt and like the father and son or father and son and daughter or something, they all did it together. So that's what I thought like would happen. I'm like, come on kids. And then they're like, hell no, dude, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so like they're sitting on the wall and suddenly I'm in the middle of the room demonstrating this thing all by myself. And I was, it, that was all by design. I'm not complaining, I'm super grateful for that. But that's what you grow to when you just do it. You just take action, you just click the button, you wire your entire nervous system to take advice from the people you trust, to follow your, more important than anything, is to learn to follow your own gut, your own intuition, and actually listen to it, not allow your conscious mind to chitter chatter and like overwhelm and, oh, but what about this in 1958? And what about this shit last week? And what about two years ago when this one person, they really screwed me. They didn't screw you, you screwed yourself and you put yourself in the situation, you made the decisions, and you were not listening to your intuition if you got your ass kicked. And if you did, that was all by design even, because everything happens for a reason and purpose and you wouldn't be here today with me right now as we're locking arms to amplify each other's lives as we go out and change the whole world together, starting with your world. We can't do that 
if you wouldn't have got through the stuff and throughout your life, the good and the bad, and there is no good or bad, it's just things that happen, it's feedback. And here's, here's a perfect example of this. When a plane or a rocket, so right out of school I worked for Lockheed Martin, we literally launched rockets into space and put up classified satellites and all that shit. So what happens when a rocket's going to a destination, whether it's trying to blow up a plane or launch a satellite in space or a plane is flying from Florida to California, whatever, without the thruster, without the fuel, if, it just, if the rocket sits on the ground, if the plane sits on the ground and never applies any of the fuel, it's going to sit there and it could have the best plan in the world with the best GPS and the best navigation system and all that stuff, all the mathematics, all that crazy stuff. It doesn't matter how this stuff works. It's like electricity. You plug something in the wall, it works, sweet. It doesn't matter how it does. So these vehicles, they can't get to where they're trying to go to if they're not applying thrust. And what it is, it's negative and positive feedback is what it's called. And so why you have to take immediate action is because you take the action, then you actually get feedback. If you don't take no action, you don't get no feedback. That means you can't course correct, you can't even get to your goal. You're the freaking plane sitting on the ground, you're the rocket literally trying to like put yourself into space and you're gonna be like the whatever the person on the moon or Mars, whatever you're gonna be doing, you're like, you're gonna be an astronaut, the, like it's what you've dreamed of your whole life and you're all ready for it and you're sitting on the rocket in the ground and it's fueled up, it's ready to go and you won't give it fuel. So you sit there on the ground and you never get there and then you end up on your dying bed one day and you're looking back and you're like, man, I was gonna do that and I was right there, right in the moment and I just didn't take action because I got scared. And I was like, oh, what about Apollo 13? Because I saw Tom Hanks as if you think it was like actually Tom Hanks back then because the movie was so amazing. Like, dude, by the way, one of the best actors of all time, Tom Hanks and Apollo 13, I saw what happened to them and they damn near died. Dude, look what their family went through. I'm not even going through that, so I'm gonna sit in my rocket on the ground because I saw that movie. And because my, my authority figure in my life when I was younger said I told you so, and that one teacher one time, they told me I couldn't do it, and I believed him, and all that shit from all those days way back then, <sighs> That's where I'm staying, right here. And what's gonna happen? Fast forward to your dying bed. This has happened across the board. I don't remember if I said this in the first video or this one right here. I've done tons of studies around some of the most successful people in the history of the world, including some people nobody's ever heard about that were not successful like some large amount of success. They were successful in their own life and just like living an amazing life. And even personally, that people that I've personally known. And the biggest thing, everybody on their dying bed, if they if it's not like some huge like fast death or something, the big which is super rare by the way, in the, the bigger context of everything, but people are on their dying bed, whether it's for days, weeks, months, years, you know, horrible situations like that. But as they're looking back, they're not they don't regret the, the risks they took. They don't regret the things where they just dove in with both feet, where they just clicked the button to buy. There's no button here, guys. You get what's happening. Your brain, I'm, re, I'm try, attempting to rewire some of your nervous system right now. That's why you have to take action right now and reply to this. You have to post below or whatever, or just go freaking take action if you're not gonna post. I don't care if you like, go out and take over the world and come back and tell me, whatever you do, you have to take action now because that's rewiring your nervous system to do what it's supposed to do, how we are all naturally wired, and we know that as children, and what you just get, your system gets clogged up. I'm not going into all the science and all the neurology and all the psychology of what really happens, because we don't have time for that. It's like electricity, it doesn't matter. Here's what happened. I, I could explain everything happening in your brains with the neuroplasticity and all of the white, the myelin, the white matter and everything. None of that stuff matters. It actually does, it's the coolest stuff ever. What really matters is you plug something in and it works. What really matters is you take action now and it works. And you get feedback, then you course correct on that feedback and move forward. You don't worry about the bait and switch from years ago when you clicked on a button back in 1955 and there was no internet but you were clicking buttons anyway. I was, one of the, I was, like, I was on computers when I was a little kid, dude. Like 35 years ago I was on computers. Imagine that, it was like in the, like the early, early 80s. I was on machines from the late 70s. Like nobody even knew what a computer was back then. 
And those, I forgot where the hell I was even going with that, but back, I, oh, the button push from 1955. So you're, you pushed a button, it was a bait and switch, you, you were like in the moment, all those things you felt, you knew it, your physiology, all the things, you were there in the moment, you knew it, and your emotion was created from that, and everything was in alignment, and you're in synchronicity, and it's like, dude, this is it, and your heart knows it, and everything knows it, and God's telling you, and the universe is like speaking down, like, dude, do it, and you click the button, and there's a lesson there you're supposed to learn and you got bait and switched. But then you carry the bait and switch. Bait and switch means you bought something that wasn't what it was supposed to be. You get inside, it's not what you thought it was going to be. So if that happens, you don't carry that. You were in synchronicity for a reason. And so you get the lesson of that. The feedback is don't buy from this dumbass. And if I see these kinds of things again, don't do that. Like that, you learn like, you know what? I actually did... I, I acted on my conscious mind in this situation and actually I really felt like this person was a slime ball. And you feel that and you really realize those things in retrospect, even if it's like seconds later, you're like, that person was a little slimy. And so your intuition was correct, you just didn't know how to listen to it. That's what was really happening. But then the lesson out of that is like, dude, I really need to get in touch with this intuition thing. And then you're going forward, you get another chance, like go click the button, go enter like whatever you're gonna take action on right now, go click the button, that's the, this isn't a button, it's like go reply right now. You click that button and holy shit, something good happens. Then you, what do you, what you do from that? You anchor that situation in moving forward, not the one from 1955 when you got baited and switched and you're a little kid and you've been carrying that your whole life and blaming the whole world and people just like that and you made the whole world look like that thing and you create a whole belief systems that every time somebody looks like that pink elephant that ripped you off back then, all these other pink elephants I were surrounded by all the time every day, they're all pink elephants and the whole world is out to get me because of one little thing that was all some fictitious story created in your mind decades ago. That's why you get the new experience, you anchor it in, we don't, we're totally not going into that day. We will though. And I'm gonna show you guys how to create, how your emotions are created. That will definitely come in the coming days or couple weeks somewhere here, because it's critical how you create your emotional states, and then how you can anchor in, and that'll probably be a different video, how you anchor them, which means you hold on to this one, not that dumbass one from 55. You're holding on to this new one from 2016, and it might be this video right now that you already took action on, and you're already wiring that, and you're like, dude, look it. I took action. I didn't wait to, for an hour. I didn't wait for a second. I didn't wait till next week. I took action right now so I could get the feedback so I can then go course correct and get to the life of my dreams. Your dreams. That's what we're here to do. So I appreciate you guys. We'll see you very soon. This video is definitely better than the first one I shot. I, I got to steal all the stories from the first one. I put in like two or three new ones. Totally awesome. Appreciate you guys so deeply. We will see you very, very, very soon here. And take action now. Report back. Hold yourself accountable. Throw it out there. The more you do that publicly, the more you're amplifying the whole experience. And what we rewiring your whole nervous system, your whole physiology, your neurology, your whole physiology, all of it's rewiring. Take action now.